Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective. And today's topic is called, You Be Touching It Too. Yeah, sorry about that, yeah, I had to sit up. But yeah, the reason why I thought about this, my church, old church, should I say, it was, um, I was listening to them online, and it was going over, the, which is going to be second Genesis. A lot of us know it's, you know, dealing with Adam and Eve when they ate the, um, of the tree of good and evil. Now, you know that if you, you know, for me with this chapter, that God said you can pretty much eat of every tree except for this one particular tree. Every tree. And I don't even know if they even specify what kind of tree it was, but we just all assume the forbidden fruit was the apple tree. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if it was the apple tree, I'm pretty sure that all those other trees that they could ate from, they had apples in it as well. It ain't like <laughs> the tree that was forbidden had more juicier apples. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the other trees had also apples. And it's not like apples are just so desirable out of all the fruits. It's like, oh, I gotta have an apple. The thing is, they wanted to be disobedient. Like, sometimes we want, a lot of us want what we can't have. And what um, belongs to someone else or what God says we can't have, what we know we can't have. That also puts me in the mind of the movie I saw the other day. I'm already there yet. And when um the kid got a whole bunch of snacks and stuff, I think brownies, and then this bully came over to him and tried to snatch his food. And he had to say, hold on, wait. There's a table with a whole bunch of food and goodies. And the bully told him, I don't want that. I want yours. So it just puts me in the mind of we will, we won't what we can't have here's a whole bunch of goodies the exact same goodies you try to take from him you could have got your, your own but you wanted him you want you wanted his because it belonged to somebody else it's the same thing that we do we want the unforbidden thing when god said we can't have it or well, we just gotta have it y'all pretty much pointed our finger like saying like if Adam and Eve want to eat of that tree, we'll still be alive right now. Or we'll still be living to eternity on earth. And we want, and, you know, and um, the world won't come to an end, this and that. Pointing their fingers. Why did they, why they didn't listen? Why did this and that? But you have to look at it. Your, tr your, your forbidden fruit may not actually be an apple tree that you eat from. But your forbidden fruit could be this man over here who God told you, uh-uh, don't touch that. Because if you do, you're surely going to perish. Or you might catch a disease. Or they might cause you heart heartache. But, oh, I just got to have it. I, I just got to touch it. Your forbidden fruit could be, I got to have this alcohol. I got to fill this void by drinking this alcohol. I got to gotta smoke me some weed. I just got to have it. I, I, I just want it so bad. That could be your forbidden fruit. Your forbidden fruit could be overworking. You probably don't have a bad habit, but you just like overwork and just go home. There's nothing wrong with that. That could be your forbidden fruit, but you never have time to spend time with God. You always just tired just working home, working home. You never got time to open up a Bible. You you, you just binge, binge watch it on watching um TV, but you never cracking open up a book. You you gonna crack open probably you probably love reading you probably always open up books but you the book you always open up is never the bible it's other books that could be your unforbidden fruit fruit so we can't just point our fingers at you know with the adam and eve situation say oh they should have listened oh this one that won't be happening to us because if you put it like that even right now just looking at it, you in their shoes, and you don't even pass the test. You do the exact same thing that they did. You touching it too. <laughs> That's what I mean by like you touching it too. It might not be apples. It might not be a for forbidden tree. But if God's telling you not to do it, you still doing it. So that's your unforbidden fruit. You know, with Adam and Eve. <gasps> And God said, you're going to perish. He didn't mean, okay, since they touch the tree, they're automatically going to perish. Because as you see, they lived a long time. They had kids. They, they lived many, many years. However, they separated them from God. 
Jesus came about on the scene, died for our sins, and thank you, Jesus, that we can, you know, get salvation and live righteously and make it to heaven. But sin separated us from him, so we wouldn't have made it. We was all down, pretty much. So, what I'm telling y'all is, don't cause sin to separate you. Don't cause yourself to touch an unforbidden fruit, an unforbidden thing that God told you not to do. Because sometimes, by us um doing certain things, we cause trouble on our own self. You know what? When, once Adam and Eve committed that sin with childbearing, she got to feel the pains of childbearing. Not just her, all of us who, who had kids, we get to feel the pain of childbearing. Now, I know some people, if they have a C-section, you still going to feel something. You might not feel the actual pain as, like, you know, as far as that, but you're going to feel something. And even if it's not with childbirth, you're going to feel something, whatever it is. But that's what sin calls. And we got to stop pointing our fingers because we said, I said in so many videos, like, we got to stop pointing our fingers at the next person because they might sin differently. We might not be caught in that sin, but some, some other sin we, we caught in. At the end of the day, if it's, on, if it's forbidden, if it's a forbidden fruit, we shouldn't be partaking in it because that will separate us from God. And you got to stop pointing fingers. And if you are that person... I know because I used to be that person. If you are that person, I just got to help you. Uh, that's pretty much all I had to say regarding that, y'all. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all blessed.